Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a grilly, grilly, a <laughs> girl, bitch, I can't talk, a grilly. Okay, new word alert, bitch. I wanted to say a really great, and then I said grilly. So I hope you're having a grilly day, bitch. Um, if this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, you have found me. So grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, breaking news on Miss Britney Spears. So yesterday I did a video where um, there was, um, uh, it was like rumors, but like confirmation that in her audiobook, Britney did not uh, record the whole thing because it was too, it was it was very traumatic for her to go back and, and, you know, to read certain things and, you know, just to go down memory lane. Sometimes you just want to forget it, honey. You just don't, girl, it's in the past, it's in the past, so you don't want to, you know, you don't want to go through it again. But um, there was rumors that a very A-list Hollywood royalty actress was doing, uh, you know, the audiobook. So everyone was like, oh my God, who is it? I had two guesses. I thought it was Drew Barrymore or I thought it was Madonna. Well, a bitch was wrong. A bitch was wrong. So, um, we now know who it was and it is Hollywood royalty, Michelle Williams. So, it says here, Britney Spears got herself a real Hollywood heavy hitter to record the bulk of her audiobook, Michelle Williams, five-time Oscar nominee. Britney made the big announcement Friday morning that the audio version of The Woman in Me will be recorded by Michelle. Britney herself did record the prologue, I don't know what the fuck that is, bitch, to the memoir, but Michelle did the rest. Oh, th that's probably like the intro, right? Anyways, um, Brit told People, relieving... Reliving everything has been exciting, heart-wrenching, and emotional, to say the least. For those reasons, I will only be reading a small part of my audiobook. <sighs> Listen, Michelle Williams, I think she's a great actress. What has she been in? So I know she's from Dawson's Creek. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I don't have to know, but not when we live Okay, so let's see what else she's done because I know she's she's did um Brokeback Mountain, right? She did Brokeback Mountain. I know she's done um she did that mo Ugh, girl, hang on. I have to see what she's done, bitch, because I uh I need to read some of what she's done. I know she's done a lot more, you guys. Don't hate me. Michelle Williams. Okay. So she's done movies like Blue Valentine Venom, Dawson's Creek, The Greatest Showman, Brokeback Mountain, Shutter Island, um, oh, The Oz, oh, Marilyn, and I Feel Pretty. That movie's actually really good, the I Feel Pretty one with Amy Schumer. Listen, here's the thing, I, I, I would have never guessed Michelle Williams, you know, a lot of people are very excited about these news. I've actually been seeing a lot of comments from the Britney army. They're very excited about this. They think that Britney did a great choice that, you know, Michelle Williams is really considered very Hollywood royalty. So in that end, I'm happy, right? I am very happy about that. And I think that it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I would have maybe loved, you know, other people to, to have been involved, maybe someone who is connected to Britney in a way um but we obviously don't know you know what goes on behind the scenes maybe Michelle and and Britney are you know are somewhat friends and they have a connection and stuff you know Michelle Williams did say I stand with Britney and you know I think it's um I think it's a it's a good choice I would have definitely loved someone like Reese Witherspoon or even Drew Barrymore just because I feel like Britney has talked about them before um, but you know, here's the thing. I, I think that we're going to start seeing that it's a good connection. It's like Brittany didn't just get anybody to do it, you know, like an anonymous person. She got somebody who is respected in Hollywood. She got, you know, reading Michelle's story about, you know, she of course was with Heath Ledger and everything. She's also gone through a lot of pain in her life. So it's it's one of those things that maybe she can be very understanding. And that's what I really wanted, um, you know, when I mentioned about this. I really wanted somebody who would understand Britney's story 
And you know, the memoir is described as brave and astonishingly moving story about freedom, fame, motherhood, survival, faith, and hope. So, you know, it's a long, long and very, very scary, sad, but happy story. That is the story of Britney Spears. So we needed somebody who will understand it, who will, you know, really take into consideration everything that Britney has gone through and read the words with that amount of respect and passion and understanding and sensitivity and comprehensive. I, girl, I ran out of big words, but you know what I mean. It's definitely it was meant for somebody who could understand Britney. And I'm I'm very excited about this. I think it's one of those things where, you know, I don't really know what to expect. Um, but I think that with somebody like Michelle Williams, who was chosen for this. Hopefully it was Britney's decision. Also, you guys, um, I wanted to add this because I thought it was so cute. You know that Crossroads will return to theaters for a two-night event on October 23rd and 25th. Um, obviously, Crossroads was amazing. Uh, I remember, I, I, I've watched that movie like 5,000 times. Um, so, to, you know... The book is coming out the 24th. The movie will be on the 23rd and 25th. I think it's a wonderful thing to bring back Crossroads. So it can remind people of everything that Britney has definitely accomplished. And not only that, but the physical copy of the soundtrack will be coming out, um, which is also very exciting. I think it's very, it's a cute little nostalgic touch. And Breathe Heavy reports that the, sa the soundtrack is getting a physical re-release. Um, some of the songs are new, um, remixes of Overprotected, I'm Not a Girl, Night a Woman, and I Love Rock and Roll. Um, you know, it's going to be released in a CD format on October 20th, which, by the way, girl, who, who has a CD player? I don't not have, a, I don't even have a DVD player anymore, bitch. Where are we supposed to listen to this? Although, you know what, bitch? To have the physical copy would be pretty nice. Listen, after everything that Britney Spears has gone through in her life, all the ups and downs, the darkness, the the scary moments, the, you know, I'm sure that just a flashing of the paparazzi, that sound, I believe that sound can be definitely very triggering and very scary. And everything that Britney has gone through, it's leading up to this day for her to finally tell her story, for her to finally tell her 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 side of things and after so many years so many decades of being judged and only being seen as some kind of sex symbol or the one who's being made fun of she finally can tell her piece say her truth and we could really really this is gonna sound so corny but we can really meet the woman inside of britney and in her words and putting it in a raw format that is a book. It's sharing your life in written words. And it's time for the world to see who Britney Spears is, not just her many accomplishments, not just her, her, you know, sad and dark moments, but who she is, her heart, her soul, her mind. I love you, Britney. And I'm so excited.